Hello there, this is Oliver Dylan Stout, and we are about to take a look at our assignment for SGD-161, which is the overlapping assignment. Um, let me get the exact thing here for you. So it's the follow-through and overlapping. I apologize. Um, so with this one, we've got two versions. We've got one with a little bit more detail to our character's face, and then one that uh, more so just follows the directions given to um, us during the um, walkthrough of this assignment's direction. So we'll run that one first. It's essentially our rough pass. Um, and here we go. So it is pretty fast, so I'm going to scrub through manually at this point. And similar to the ball bounce, um, the extra part of this is we have the hair, which is also going to react. So we're going to see it slowly lift up continue to lift up, lift up, and actually start to um, make a nice S shape as if it's gonna start whipping back and forth a little. We're hitting the ground, it hits this um, very sharp straight up point at which it's reacting and it's about to have a very extreme different reaction now that we've hit a surface and physics start to take place. But again, it reacts slower than the head since it is a secondary um, animated object. So we hit the ground here, the face is continuing to distort, and then we have to start to curl in the opposite direction as a response to that hit. So we've still got the nice S curling going on, and then eventually it's gonna curl back because we're gonna have this looping, and for it to loop, it's gonna have to get somewhat close to where we started, and it still makes sense. So basically, we have a pendulum sort of motion going on here with the uh, tip, middle section, and beginning section of the ponytail. All right, so along with that, you can see the head squashing, the eyes adjusting, the mouth adjusting, um, definitely the forehead, some of the forehead wrinkles, and um, also just the general emotion of our character's face is changing. So to keep this short, let's just get on through this to the next one, I'll run it for normal. Essentially, this one just has a little bit more detail, a little bit more cleanliness to it. Um, to get this done, uh, we added actual eyes, an actual nose, a little bit of a line, which is representing uh, the sharpness of the upper uh, cheekbone. Um, we also have underneath the eye a little bit of a wrinkle, um, which shows the pudginess that you'll notice if you're looking, um, let's say, from a laying down position up at somebody else, um, you'll notice that they have a little bit of an indent coming out. We also gave him some hair on his forehead so he looked a little bit more natural. Still having the similar squash and reactions, the eyes open wide, he's stretching his head up in a very stretched um, vertical sort of way, similar to the last one. And we continue to pay attention, make sure that the hair is doing what it's supposed to do, but we give it a little bit more of a 3D look to it. Not actual 3D, but a mimic of it. All right, um, so yeah, I will send in the FLA so you can take all the time you'd like, but I think that pretty much covers what I wanted to um, vocalize on my end to you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having a wonderful day on your end.